हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माय नेम इज चिराग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज अ जंकिन सी एल आई एंड हाउ वी कैन रन आर जॉब थ्रू कमांड लाइन एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ सी एल आई सो बेसिकली इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन सेट अप जंकिन्स एंड हाउ वी कैन रन जंकिन्स जॉब थ्रू वेब now we are moving ahead in advanced features of jenkin so we are moving to learn how we can run our jobs through a command line so basically what is a jenkin cli it is a feature of jenkins which provide the commands so that we can use through command prompt right and uh, we can use uh, uh, on linux as well and we can use on windows and we can use mac also so now i'm showing what is a jenkins cli you can see this is my jenkins and i log in with chirag user and before use uh, this command line you should have the configure security like this that allow anonymous reader access and the logged user can do anything right and after that we should go and see this is jenkins cli you can see this option access manage jenkins from your shell or your script click on this and you can see the all the command has to have display on here right and you can download this jenkins dot cli jar i already downloaded and i put this jar on my this jenkins dot file along with this jenkins dot war file and after that if you go ahead and you can see there is a number of features of command lines is display right so let me show you the command line you click on any command line you can see the how you can execute this command line let we need to return list of all job on a specific few items click on this so this is all the uh, this is the command which you need to run right so what we have to do we have to do open the command prompt where we have kept our jenkins cli as i open now i have to run this command line so you can just go and copy either you go and copy this or you can write this java hyphen jenkins or that so i copied let me i paste over here it seems is not get copy let me write java hyphen jar dot as h h t p local as i am using a local host so it give me a local host if you are configure with any ip then it give the ip address and let me first simple print print this so you can see all the commands has been display here but you have noticed first it ask me the pass pairs of this chirag user so i do not enter this but this show me the all the jobs which are i created on this jenkins let me show you this you can see all the jobs all these jobs has been created by me let me i do not want to use i want to ignore this then what would i do i have to use no key of and you can see now i do not see this uh, dot rsa pass phrase condition right 
so by using this no key auth we can do this we, we can ignore this right so let me run a build any build which have created uh, let me this is the command which we have to do let me run this java hyphen char jenkins hyphen h s h s t p local host 80 80 no key auth and now build and which you want to build i want to build kit cucumber and after that uh, without login i cannot run my jobs because i set the uh, setting security in this way which i already show you that anonymous user can view the jobs but do not run the job so i need to pass my username and password here my username is admin and my password is admin right now i click on this and you can see that let me my job has been started right and if i click on this and go up you can see started from command line and give the username as i passed my user over here at let me so at this i passed user admin and admin so it give me the this admin admin right so this is the way we can run our jobs through command line and it is very useful when we are talk about continuous integration and let me show you yes what is the use of continuous integration so basically there are number of commands are available on mm, through continuous integration and why we, it is useful it is uh, it is useful because when we run any tool so we are use ui but uh, when we have to run in automation we need the command line task so that we can do not open my <coughs> this ui and click on here we just write the code or we just write the batch file by using that batch file we can execute our jenkins jobs also so this is the way first advantage of this it can reduce our time and second it's a memory because when we configure our ui then this Jenkins takes lot of memory on our or hard disk on our system right but when we run through command line then it does not take that much memory of the hard disk so these are main two advantage and third is when we are working on continuous integration we have to run build one by one and we do not want to open Jenkins you this URL again and again so at that time we can also use this command line and modify our process in such a way so that we can save our time and we can build or we can do as uh, as much as possible faster so these are the advantage of this and you can see there are number of uh, commands so you can use this command if you want and hopefully you like this video and you will learn a new thing through this Jenkins CLI and if you like this video please press like button and if you wanna to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and we will meet with another video so bye bye take care